Hi everyone, this is a quick introduction video explaining the functionality of project management within Bitrix24. Now due to this coronavirus situation, due to this lockdown happening at most places, most of the companies have given a work from home option to the employees. This is the best time to utilize the free version of Bitrix24 and manage the projects online. So through this solution you can assign tasks to your employees, you can monitor them and get reporting of all the tasks being performed by your employees. So let's get started. This what you see in front of you is an Indian website of Bitrix24. The URL is bitrix24.in. Similarly for other countries as well, you have country specific Bitrix URLs. So I'll click on pricing. Here there are two main versions of Bitrix24. One is the cloud, that is you're using the cloud of Bitrix. And second is on-premise. So you get the entire solution, the entire source code, and you can post this entire solution on your office server. So today I'll be talking about the cloud main version. And in cloud version, you have various kind of subscription available. One is the free one. Uh, the second one is special plans. In special plans, you have Start Plus, CRM Plus, Project Plus. And in business plans, you have Standard and Professional. For the beginner's video, for this video, I'll be talking about the free subscription. So I'll just register for the free plan right now. Click on register free. Here I shall enter the admin ID, the mail ID which will be used for administration purpose of this system. Let's just say the mail ID for us that we'll be using is the tricks demo nephro. Please make sure that the mail ID that you are registering out here does exist. Now in my case, this mail ID will exist as I have a catch-all emails for my domain. So this mail ID, any emails coming to this ID will be available for us. I'm just going to click on I want to receive product updates and I'm going to leave that I want to receive training materials option open because I need some details you would be requiring details as and when it is available on how to use the system now I'm going ahead to click on register for free so you see my Bitrix24 free instance is being created right now and there is your URL. You need to make a note of this particular URL b24-183 d61. So this would be a different number all the time and you would have dot bitrix24.in coming every time. So now the screen that comes in front of you is the options on how you would like to use Bitrix24 as. As mentioned earlier, Bitrix24 is a CRM solution. It can be used as project management solution. It can be used as a communications portal. And you can also create sites for your customers where your customers can come visit your site and uh, maybe place some orders or maybe just fill up an inquiry form. And that inquiry form, the contents of that inquiry form will directly come inside your Bitrix24 solution as the sites are created by Bitrix24 itself. Now for this project, for this demo, we'll take it as a project management solution and I'm going to click on task and projects. Once clicked, I'm going to click on confirm. Don't worry on the rest of the options mentioned here because we can enable that at any point in time later on. And there you have the first screen of Bitrix24. Here it talks about the various menus 
and you have your tasks and projects screen in front of you since that is the main screen that you have selected. Please make a note that even though you haven't selected the CRM in that option, you still have the CRM menu. But the only difference is since you have selected project management, your project management menu comes on the top. This is a complete walkthrough of the entire CRM. It gives you a highlighting features of where you have to click. You can either invite your colleagues now or you can just click on the finish tab for now I'll just click on finish and I will show you what is there in project management. So on the top of the project management you have all tasks, ongoing tasks, assisting, set by me, following projects, Kanban efficiency. Now if you see that these are the top menu and let's say you don't like the way it is being arranged you just can go to more configure menu pull your projects to let's say over here and say customize uh, finish customization what happens is this becomes your permanent menu now and you can do that for all the menus that you see in front of you templates, reports, recycle bin you want to get it up you just pull it from here and get it over here that's it as simple as that so I'm going to click on more on the left side here you see something as work groups now in Bitrix24 project management each project is called as a work group in Bitrix24 the term used is work groups you will find the work groups available under hidden menu the objective of having a hidden menu is that you don't have to have all the menu items on the left side and confuse the user on what to use you can just keep those menus on the left side which are useful and rest of them you can just hide it off now just to bring this work group on the top unhide the work group what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom of the menu out here slide down over here here you have something as configure menu again I'll say configure menu items and I'm going to take my work group and put it on the top so there you have it you have tasks which is first work groups is second you have calendar calendar this is an amazing functionality you can synchronize your calendar with Google Calendar as well uh, you can also include it with your uh, integrate it with your Microsoft Office calendar Bitrix24 Drive is nothing but your uh, something like a Dropbox you can store your documents out here chat and calls are one more um, amazing functionality of Bitrix24 wherein you can have something even better than Skype that can take place within Bitrix itself so this is one very important functionality which I would like to talk about at a later point in time CRM of course the CRM functionality and employees is registering your internal employees now that I have configured my menu I brought my work group menu item to the top I'm going to click on save changes so that the menu uh, ordering sequencing becomes permanent so now I'm going to click on work groups like I said earlier work groups is nothing but project management each work group mentioned out here 
these are the types of work groups but each work groups are nothing but each projects of your company now let me give you a walk through of the type of work group that is available one is extra net imagine that you would like uh, your external users to come inside and participate in your project that is when you will create an extra net work group a uh, private hidden group so it will uh, require uh, the groups the projects would be available only for particular department as such open public group uh, this is for everyone and it's something like a forum you can say something like that where everyone can just come in participate private visible group is something for your internal employees yeah so let's just create a private visible group now i'm going to change the work group name i'm going to say that this project is of client 1 2 3 yes i am the owner i can also change owners for this group i can create or i can select which all features should this project have you can have a wiki uh, with a knowledge portal inside this project management project you can have a photo gallery for this pro uh, particular project a uh, drive is where all the documents of the project would be stored calendar related to this particular project the number of tasks of course this has to be there so that you can monitor the task for each project for each employee chats conversations uh, it's better to just enable all of them as of now and uh, as and when you're using it you will get to know more on each one of them i'm keeping this video as short as possible so that you know uh, you get to know the overview of the entire project management solution within bitrix so i'm going to save this particular project so the project name is saved as client 123 now what is necessary for a project the main thing is the people working on the project getting back to your employees list we will register certain employees so when you go to employees section of bitrix 24 you'll see that they have made a complete gui for a company structure and uh, you can create and you can have different departments which will be operating under the management so here instead of bitrix you would like to rename this as a management team or the management department and under the management you have various departments working that is marketing account sales department chatbot will come to this at a later point in time if you want to add a new department out here you can just add click on add department out here and you can add that particular department for now i'll be talking about inviting users into bitrix 24 so you click on invite users this is where you are inviting your employees to come into the system and participate in the projects so your employees will get a quick registration link and uh, through this link they can come into bitrix24 create a username and password and be available out there for participating in the project now i can invite them using an sms or invite using email or just register for that employee directly out here if you want to save those hassles of sending an email or sending smss to your employees you want to register them yourself you just add their email id out here
without confirmation just uh, ensures that okay they don't need to confirm on their email you're just adding them at your own risk right click on add right in the similar manner you can register all your other employees You see here, I had to actually refresh the screen because uh, uh, that is not getting reflected out here. As soon as I, re I refresh the screen, I have employee 1 who is available out here. I'm just going to take him because he does not belong to the management department. I'm going to put him out, uh, maybe in accounts department, I'm going to put him out here. Alright. Now I'm going to go back to my project which I had created. You see the project is already been listed out there in the first screen itself. Previously we had the type of project which was being displayed. We still have that but the main uh, option out here comes the project which was created by us and then you have the type of project being displayed out there. I come here and I add the new employee that I just created so you see when I try to add an employee it gives me a option of all the employees maybe by department wise or recent items and there you have it the first employee which we just added I'm going to select on that particular employee and I'm going to say send invitation so once that is done the employee to whom you had sent an invitation to join the project he receives an email with the invitation link now your employee would go to his email and click on the link which is received that will open up his registration screen and there he would have to put a password and confirm his password once done he has to click ready to send there you have it this is the screen of the employee one and uh, he already received a few notifications to see the notifications that he had received I'm going to click over here uh, the first notification says employee one do you want to connect to the shared folder client one two three to your drive I'll just click on connect folder it sees it says that the project of client one two three should be connected to your drive all right that's perfect now moving on I'll just go to my work group click on client 123 you see that the project is available for your employee one as well this is a browser of the employee one I'm going to quickly shift to the browser of the admin this is the admin browser here currently it's just the admin who is there as a member let me quickly click refresh there you have it this is the admin and you have employee one as the member of this project now you will see that there are various options to collaborate for this particular project work I'm still in my admin screen not in the employee one screen from the admin screen I can add tasks 
check the calendar of the entire project. Drive is a place where you store all the documents, do some chat, do some conversations, photo and wiki. Let's just say that I want to chat with all the members of this project. Currently we've just added uh, employee 1 to this particular project but let's just imagine that there are employee 1 to employee 10 in this particular project and we want to speak with each one of them. We want to broadcast a message to all of them. So here yeah. So here I'll be typing the message and by default every one in client 123 project name is selected but if you want to send it to just one particular recipient and not all of the employees who belong to this particular project I'm going to cross click on the cross mark for client 1 to 3 and click the specific employee to whom I want to send since I've just created one employee I'm just getting one employee as the listing out there but if you have many employees you'll get all the listing and you can select one of them so here I've sent the mail to the employee one two three. I'm moving on to the employee one to uh, employee one screen. For employee one, since the project name was deselected out there, instead of coming in the project, the employee would get his message in something called as an activity stream. So what is an activity stream? It's something like a Facebook wall. So each and every update that is meant for you to see appears in your activity screen. I'm quickly going to take you through creating one task by the admin and assigning it to employee one. And uh, I'll show you how the task is being worked upon by employee one. Now I'm moving on to the admin screen. Under the same project client 1 to 3, I'm going to tasks. And I'm going to click on new task. Things to do. Create a presentation for the customer. If it is of high priority, I'm going to click out here saying that this is of high priority. If I need to attach any files, I can click out here. Here could be a link to a particular URL and address in the internet, which I can paste. I can quote a text, quote a text what the customer has quoted. Add a particular employee as mentions. You might be seeing that we put at the rate of in LinkedIn to specify a particular person in our connection list. The same thing goes out here. Checklist is a, a set of tasks within this task that he has to the employee has to click on to say that yes, he's completed those checklists as well. And only when all the checklists are completed, he can close the task. I'll give you a simple example. Let's say checklist number one item text is item one, item two, and item three. Right? Now, I'm going to give a brief description of this particular task saying that a 
PowerPoint presentation has to be created for this customer. Yeah. And I'm going to say the responsible person is not the admin, of course, but it's employee one. I'm going to set a deadline saying that I want to get this task done by 2nd of April and the time should be somewhere around let's say 4 o'clock 4 p.m. so it's 16 4 p.m. is 16 I'm going to click on select time planning options is further planning of the task when should he start the task what should be the duration should it be days hours or minutes and when should he finish the task now you might be wondering what exactly is this although you have set the deadline the start of the task could not be on the particular time where you are assigning it to the employee it could be on a further date that's where the start task on comes into picture although you have given a start task not necessarily that it's not necessary that the person should work on the same task throughout the day so you put a duration out there saying that maybe just one hour per day the person has to work on that task and you say the finish should be on such and such date the deadline has to be a time ahead or equal to the finish time Moving on to more, you get various tracking options. You can say time tracking. I want to track how much time the employee is spending on this, and it should not be more than let's say four hours. So you can put four out here. And repeat task if this is a recurring task, you'll have to click on activate and you have to mention every week it's recurring every week or every day or every month or every year you can click or put all the options out here and activate this particular recurring task if at all this particular customer is connected with your CRM you will be selecting the CRM uh, entity out here since we have not added a CRM entity, I am not going to click this option. If this particular task is a subtask of a major big task, which has already been defined before, you will click that particular task out here. And tags are nothing but small words that you would like to uh, filter out this particular task in case you have thousands of tasks in future. So if at all, I want to put a tag let's say presentation and I click on save now in future if I have 10,000 tasks in my task list if I want to search all the tasks wherein presentation was been assigned I just type presentation in the search option and I say the task the tag equals to presentation and I'll get all the tasks wherein presentation was been assigned to any particular employee now I'm clicking on add task so you'll see under task we have the first task being created it's created by the admin and the responsible person is employee one now I'm going to move on to employee one screen this is employee one screen and you will find in his activity stream one new addition has just come and says bitrix demo nevpro that is admin has created a task and he is the responsible person from here if employee one wants to go directly to the task he will click on the link which is available out here you see the name of the task is right next to that word task out there 
he clicks on it and the entire task window is been displayed in front of him now you see as we discussed we also had created a checklist so let's just assume that employee 1 did item 1 so he clicks over here you see one out of three is completed and it strikes off over here once he's done with the second item he clicks here the third item over here and all his checklist is completed now if you want to track the time of your employee working on the task you can start the time tracker out here and if he's taking a small break you can just click on the pause button out here once the task is over let's say i do a task of 15 seconds so once my task is over i'll just click on finish down you'll see there are three tabs comments history time elapsed in the comments if he wants to pass on any comment regarding this particular task he can do so over here the history would talk about what all has happened with that particular task the entire history so you see it was created by the admin and the item added to the checklist was this right so the entire history comes up over here now this was all about working on a particular task Now coming to yet another important aspect of Vitrix 24, we'll, we'll change the URL. Now you see the URL is not very user friendly and it'll be very difficult to remember such a URL. So what we'll do is in your admin login, we'll go to more, we'll scroll down to settings and in the settings in general settings you have something as change your bitrix 24 address click on change here give your company name And you see automatically it populates the word for you if you want to have a different name out here you can type that as well and continue so now you see your URL has been changed it's now testing 123.bitrix24.in Alright, uh, this was just a basic introduction to the project management available in Bitrix24. One quick uh, additional information which I have skipped uh, in the training is this search bar that you see on top, it's very much helpful. As you can see, it can find people, documents, and even for words within a document. So I would suggest you to search for anything and everything using the search bar out here. And if you are going to the employee uh, section, you will find this timer out here. So your employees can directly go to their today's task this time out here and select the task in which they are going to work on even create a new task at random out here so this is a shortcut for them and uh, here you see the dashboard which is available in the activity stream you find a dashboard saying the ongoing tasks are so and so the assisting is this much set by me following so these are the main information of how to use Bitrix. In the coming videos, I will get in depth 
into project management as well as other features available in Bitex24. Hope you found this video helpful. Please leave your comments in the comment box below. I hope you have found this video informative and by now you have a fair idea of how project management works within Bitex24. If you have any further queries, you can always write to us. The email ID is info at nevpro.co.in. Thank you very much.